A short ceremony was held at the newly built Wuhan railway station to launch the official start of China's first high-speed passenger railway. The service links Wuhan, the capital city of Hubei province, in the Guangzhou, the capital city of Guangdong province, cutting travel time between the two cities from 10 hours to three hours. Wuhan's TV reporter Hu Li was there. I'm right now standing on the number one platform of the newly built Wuhan railway station. About three minutes later, I will get on the first train of the Wuhan to Guangzhou Express Railway with 1,200 passengers to Guangzhou, a city 1,068 kilometers away from here. While three hours journey, let's experience China's first high-speed railway together. The carriage is crowded with passengers who came to experience the very first high-speed railway in China. Liang Lingyang is a railway fan and a member of a website, railwayonline.com. He and his friends met in Wuhan from various parts of China to experience the express train. I am a pilot, but for now, I'm railway fans. I'm from Beijing. They are from Yunnan, Guangdong, and Guangxi. We came here especially for this historical trip. It's comfortable, quiet, and stable. The train attendant smile is beautiful. Mr. Zhang Youzong, the party chief of the Wuhan Railway Bureau, described the trip as a milestone for China's railway history. The operation of the Wuhan Guangzhou Express Railway will realize the separate transit of passengers and cargo, which will unleash the transportation capacity of the existing Beijing Guangzhou Railway. Therefore, it will alleviate transport capacity shortage and bottleneck restriction on transporting key goods and materials during the peak travel time. Zhang said, "The operation of the high-speed railway is not only an achievement of railway development, but an improvement on political, social, economic, and cultural aspects." He said that China invested 108 billion yuan on railway construction in the past few years, which will trigger a tenfold increase for relevant industries. The traditional labor-intensive economic pattern will transfer to a modern capital-intensive pattern along the Pearl River Delta region, and the cooperation between Hubei, Hunan, and Guangdong will be further enhanced. It's 11:50 Beijing time. We arrived at the Guangzhou North Railway Station, passing through 20 cities. Over 600 bridges and through 200 tunnels, which I think is kind of feeling like fly with your feet on the ground. The trip was pleasant and unveiled a brand new page on China's railway network. Not only because of its latest technology, longest mileage, or fastest speed, but also the overall improvement of China's railway network. Hu Li and Li Jing for CCTV International from Guangzhou, Guangdong Province.